Hey there guys, I wanted to make a video on something I made for once. This is Hyperlint Menu. Real original, huh? I didn't like Rofi, and the other options that I explored were just the most basic thing in the universe. I could have done that, sure, uh, but I kind of wanted to do something that was a little more friendly to anybody that wanted something nice looking and that worked. So search works, it gets really weird. Uh, near the end, as you can see, they don't stay the way they should. I need to fix that. That's on the list of things to do. Uh, if you right-click something, nothing happens, right? What I want to do is when I right-click something, I want the I want to add the ability to be able to right-click to the AGS dock. I think that would be pretty cool, or or to add that as my favorite thing like it gets pinned in the start menu i think that would be kind of interesting because again i can't have these two over here uh for some reason it doesn't work out too well but we have menu buttons so log out shut down reboot hibernate sleep and lock if we do this this is what we're asked of so are you sure you want to log out and i'm going to hit no and it will do the same for all things it's nice so this project is pretty much made of the sea and uh, I use a GTK4 layer. I don't know. I might rewrite it into uh, AGS instead, if that's possible. That way, you just have an actual start menu in AGS, and it like fits in with everything. Because before, before this would be colored, right? Along with this, it would they would share things. But I don't know if that's my fault or if it's just like this is not working anymore. Whose guidance is supposed to do something, you know? Like, it's supposed to fix the problem, but it doesn't. Let's try to reapply a wallpaper, shall we, and see if that fixes the problem. Let's do sturdy table. Yeah, you see, it just does not apply. I mean, this, this applies. This works. But, again, this is also GDK4. And I don't know why it's not working, but it's just not. It makes no sense. Uh, it shouldn't have anything to do with, I think, this. I think it's the config, maybe. I'm still, you know, it's still a work in progress, but you can definitely use it if you need to. Like, uh, there's a bug. There it is. <laughs> stupidest bug ever and it's stupid because again the, the the blur is supposed to be behind like that so now it's working and this is the list view mode so if you want to change that you can go set this to true and then bam now I've got grid mode uh, I don't see anything related to color though there's border color, you know, because there's a border, and uh, if you just wanted to set that completely down, or you can just set that completely up. Yeah, but you know, the color's not that big uh, for some reason. That's the border color, the border width. Let's do three. There you go. Now that's border. Makes things a little bit easier. Uh, background color. Background color is set. So if we remove it, what will happen? Yeah. So if we remove it, if we remove the background color, background color gets set to whatever you need it to be. So problem solved. Right? Now it works. So now I can go back to that really pretty background that I had before. I like the whole Mac OS style thing that they do. People hate macOS all the time. I can't do that. I'm an adult. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's much better. You can also set transparency. There's a bunch of other stuff you can do. Like, I just wanted something that was actually functionable and worked. And it does. It opens applications. I haven't opened one yet, but watch this. <gasps> there you go. Cool, right? Uh, I believe... 
there's another application I could technically open. Test, where is it? Is it on here? I believe it's in BTOP. BTOP PT. No, why would I want to open that with Vim? Build. Ah, here it is. Okay. Cool. There we go. I opened up my other one. Oh, this bugs me so much. Look where perf level is. Performance level is set to auto too. Uh, this is another application I made. <laughs> kind of on a roll here. It shows all your current processes and stuff. Sort it by name. Yeah, so if I do that, it auto refreshes. It's alphabetical, it shows your storage. Shows your network and your incoming and outgoing and works out pretty well. It's pretty cool. Switch to light theme does not work. There's no settings. <laughs> There's another one. I don't know. I, uh, I'm really starting to like Hyperlint. So I figure I'd make an application for it to show how much I do like it. Not bad, huh? So I'm off. I'm going to bed. I know it's like 9 in the morning, but I haven't slept yet and I need sleep. I will see you guys later if possible. If I can wake up, I'll edit the Naboro 42 video. It's just basically me exploring what's new. I had an ISO. I want to do a fresh install. We did it with Vert Manager directly to an NVMe. And then afterwards, I booted into Nabora. And then I just went over what things changed from 41. And if it was stable enough to like run Steam and stuff, which 42 has issues with because normal Fedora 42 is a complete buggy mess. We'll just leave it at that. And that's not something anybody can argue about because the whole that works on my machine thing is bullshit. Let's be honest. And I normally don't swear, but I'm tired of clowns like Hamlet, like talking crap without actually backing it up when there's like hundreds of users and even other YouTubers basically calling out Fedora for being in an extremely broken state. So yeah, I will need to do more streaming, gaming, testing on the Bora 42 and I will do that, but I'll release the whole changes video here later today. Bye everybody. I hope you enjoy the menu. You'll find it in the description below. Just I'll show you how to run it. I'll show you how to, you know, compile it. So you get clone it down, you head into the menu, you open the terminal, you do sudo slash build. Oh my God. Okay. Sudo slash build dot sh and then you do dash dash install guess what will happen lamb it will probably auto detect the dependencies that are needed uh they should be in the build script as well i delete it cleanup.sh i don't even know why the hell that's there but yeah you'll find it on the github in the description below bye everybody